Welcome back. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting this exported to Unity so we can uh, use it in our scattering tool, okay? And we're going to create all that scattering tool stuff. Uh, but first, what I want to do is I want to export this out so that it comes with a bunch of LODs already set up for me instead of Unity. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that. So I'm going to jump into the final geometry node, and I'm just going to plop down an object merge node. So I'm going to say get uh, grass clump like so and I'm going to import the transform into this object and we are going to go and get the out grass clump so that's a null node that I added right here all right cool so let's go back into our final here so now I have my LOD zero okay so I'm gonna just drop down a null node for that so this is my first LOD so we'll just call this LOD zero like so and then what I want to do is drop down a poly reduce node, all right, just because I want to remove some uh, some edges or some points from this. Uh, and I'm just going to set this to something like uh, 50 for now. I'll be kind of aggressive with it. Uh, you can set it to, you know, whatever percentage you like. And I'm going to set the second one to 25. We'll just really get it down there. So you can see we have very, very little geometry. And if you actually want to check your poly counts, you can just middle mouse click. And you can see we have 105 polygons for that grass clump 210 for that grass clump and then we have uh, 420 for that particular grass clump all right so with that all i need to do now is just do an alt click and drag to copy my null node there and you can see it names it appropriately for me which is awesome okay so let's just do that and there we go so now i've got our final network output after all that we just boiled it down to three null nodes like so but this is all procedural, so when we make the HDA for this, we can go and create as many grass clumps as we want. Okay, so now I want to export this. All right, so let's uh, talk about exporting this stuff. Okay, so uh, in order to get this out of Houdini and into Unity, I'm going to create three geometry nodes here, and I'm going to call this uh, grass clump uh, LOD, so it needs to be capitalized. The naming here is very important. All right, so LOD needs to have this underscore LOD right after it. Okay, and then we're going to name this grass clump LOD1 and then grass clump LOD2. This way Unity will pick up that uh, suffix there and will automatically attach the LOD group to it and automatically attach all the mesh renderers to your LOD group. Okay, so let's do an object merge. All right, and I'm going to transform it into this object and I'm going to go and get uh, LOD zero. So we just need LOD zero. Cool. So I can just copy this now. Hit U on the keyboard, jump up and out of my node, and then just jump into LOD one and I'll just swap the name there. There we go. So we get LOD one and we'll do the same here for LOD two. Awesome. So now we have all of our LODs. All right, and, and keep in mind, we're at the OBJ level, so we're at the top root. This is going to become our HDA, and I just created a couple of lights here, and that was done through the, the shelf up here. So I just created a skylight, all right, so you can just make a net box around this and just call it lights if you want, and just compress it down into an object or into a net box. There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this is going to become an HDA. All right, and so at this top root level, we'll basically be able to create, you know, as many variations of grass clumps as we see fit, and they'll just get passed into these nodes here. And so what we want to do is we want to bundle this up into a subnet. So to do that, I'm going to select them all and hit Shift C on the keyboard. All right, well, I'm just going to give this a name of grass clump 001. All right, so that's our grass clump right there. So now what we want to do is we want to export this out to Unity. Okay, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to come up here and say export film box and what I want to do is I want to go to my unity project here so I'm going to hit the home folder which is the documents folder go to indie pixel and into my unity project here and then I want to go to my art folder objects environment grasses and I'm going to save that grass clump right there as an FBX file cool and then what I need to do is I need to select the node that I want to export. And in this case, I want to select that grass clump 001 because it has all of our LEDs underneath. Okay. So I'm going to hit accept pattern. And we want to make sure that we have this create root for subnet turned off. All right. This will allow us to create that um, LOD group. 
Okay. And with that, let's just hit export and let's jump over into Unity and see what we see. So I'm going to click and drag this out into my scene. And voila, you can see that we have all of the LEDs all set up for us. So we didn't have to go through that process. The cool thing about this too is you can automate all of this. So each time now that we go and uh, create a different variation, we can just go and add a number two to this, basically. Come back up here and do another export. And you can also just automate that with uh, Python as well. So you can just do another export, rename that, and you basically have another variation. It's all set up. It's all textured. It's using the same texture sheet. We have LEDs for it. So a really smooth process to uh, get a lot of variations very quickly using Houdini. All right. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to assign the material to this. So let's go into the actual imported object here. And I'm going to go to the materials tab right here. And you can see that we have our principled shader. Now, that's fine and all. We can go and uh, remap it with the material that we created earlier. All right, so I can click and drag this there, hit apply, and you can see now we have our grass texture. Well, you know, just being organized and clean, I, I'm actually going to rename this. So uh, let's do that. So I'm going to rename that here. So I'm going to go and delete that. Let's go back into Houdini over here. And what we need to do is go into our grass clump here and go into our uh, grass clump node. We need to go into our grass card. Then we need to dive into the shop net, into our mat net. And we just need to rename this. So this is going to be called our grass uh, clump mat, like so. Cool. So now it'll uh, export out of uh, unit or Houdini appropriately. Come with a, a better name than just principal shader one. All right, just makes it more professional. Okay, so now all I need to do is just select that node and go and hit uh, export and everything's fine. So I'm going to hit export again. We'll come into Unity over here. And now if we take a look at our uh, materials, let me actually delete that there. And it looks like I didn't get any of the meshes, which is odd. And that is because, there we go, grass clump one. I accidentally named it incorrectly, so there we go. So now we're all set up. Hit export. Let's go back to Unity. And there we go. So now we have grass clump mat for the material name. So I could just go and uh, assign that there, like so. And we'll uh, click and drag and drop it into the scene. And voila, we have a grass clump that has LEDs all automatically attached and the material all created. And all of this was done procedurally using Houdini. So with that, let's move on to the next step and actually get a tool uh, created using the Houdini engine. So I have the Houdini engine here uh, installed already. And what I want to do is I want to be able to scatter this particular grass clump uh, along the surface and I want to have a bunch of them. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that here in the next uh, few videos. Thanks so much.